Hello and welcome back to Learn Together. And uh, today uh, we're gonna start using uh, data that is not coming from uh, an array uh, that we that we've set in our uh, our um, uh, code. Uh, we are going to start uh, parsing uh, data from. Uh, um, files. Um, at, at first we're going to start using CSV data. Um, CSV is a um, format that we're using basically and usually on Excel. Um, it's a simple um, text file um, separated. The columns are separated by a comma and uh, we're going to learn how to use it. So first of all we're going to need a CSV file with with data. I'm using um, this web page uh, which is called uh, Mokaru um, that is generating um, um, data per need. Okay so in our case <clears throat> let's let's dive into the water and and start using and start using uh, this uh, page. I'm, I'm gonna need the data uh, uh, sorry uh, date and let's say a price in here I'm I'm checking data I need uh, date sorry and I'm gonna say uh, January 1st to January 1st the format that I'm going to use is month month date date uh, and four digits for a year and for price, <clears throat> I'm going to use, um, let's say, uh, something like that. Money between, as, let's say, one, you know what, 10 to 100 um, US dollars. That's okay. And that's basically it. Let's say I'm going to use 100 rows for that and the CSV will be uh, the format will be CSV um, like that header yeah let's see preview for that yep that's exactly what I need okay closing that and okay download okay let's see the file that we have. Alrighty, that's exactly what I need. Um, I have this date and price, so let's let's get into what we need. I've moved the file into um, the my project folder, and now I'm going to add a new. Um, and I also uh, renamed it to be prices.csv. Okay, yeah, that's my file. And uh, I'm going to add a new file, uh, which I'm going to call prices.js, like that. Okay, it will be my new file. And I'm going to my HTML file, and instead of shapes, I'm going to use prices, that file that, that I've used. I'm saving that. Okay, like that, and refreshing my page. Great, it's supposed to be blank, and now we can start uh, dealing with the CSV file. Okay, going back to my file, my new file, uh, prices, where are you? There you are. And the first thing that we need is to, <coughs> is to write um, a handler for our data. So d3.csv, yeah, d3 has a and function um, to deal with CSV files, and of course, in like that, prices.csv, that's my file, and in here, get, and in get, I'm going to use a function with error and data, okay, like that. And curly brackets like that. 
okay and if we would like to make a quick check that everything is okay in here let's type everything to the console oh sorry like that console log and the data let's go back to our page opening the console and refreshing my my page okay it cannot be loaded let's see why not okay if you're getting this error message uh, the meaning of that is that uh, we are loading uh, our um, file from a local um, as a local file you can see the link in here it starts with file and also at our um, web address uh, page address it's also loading locally and um, it's it's um, a problem with the cross uh, origin uh, request that is um, that is that is um, I mean we, we cannot use that um, so there is a way how to handle that and for that you're gonna need to close all your Chrome sessions uh, if you're using uh, I mean there are two two options two ways one of them is uh, um, to uh, start a local server and uh, the other one is to allow um, the usage of uh, local files um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in Chrome so first of all you're gonna need to close all your Chrome sessions <clears throat> and when I'm saying all I mean everything and if you're not sure um, you can you can start uh, your task manager and see if there are any uh, Chrome um, running on the background and in my case there is a no and the next thing that you need is um, to use this um, which is Chrome that's the executable and this um, option which is allow file access from files and hit OK that's supposed to run a new Chrome session with um, this security um, option and after doing that you probably will be able to load your file with not a problem and you can see that when I'm loading our file I'm not getting the error message again and I am getting all my objects at the console in here so that's how you do that okay I'm gonna show you again Chrome allow file access from files that's how you do that so just, I showed you how to do that in Chrome if you're using Safari you need to enable the uh, develop menu using the preference uh, panel under advanced uh, show develop menu in menu bar then from Safari develop menu select disable local file restriction that's that's how you do that on Safari okay and in Chrome I showed you how to do that just run Chrome with this option which is Chrome dash dash allow dash file dash access dash from dash files and um, in Firefox go to about config that's what you need to set in your address bar and find the security dot file uri strict dot sorry dot strict origin policy and parameter and set it to be false okay and the other option is to, to run a local server if you want to know how to do that uh, please send me a comment on this video and I'll I'll explain more so that's how you use how you um, um, gonna handle local files if you're using an online um, uh, server which is the place that your files is 
being used at the moment uh, you don't you're not gonna need anything from what I've explained in a few last minutes okay so let's go back to our uh, code in here and um, take a look what we've wrote in here so we have d3 uh, using function called csv it's getting the file location and name in this case since the file is at the same uh, location as my uh, code my html uh, my uh, js uh, sorry file uh, i'm not gonna need to um, point it to a different directory or address and then dot get and then we're using this function the function uh, gets an error and data okay an error which um, you're gonna see if um, csv cannot understand uh, what it's getting from the file if it's something that is uh, uh, broken um, so then you're gonna see the error um, with with an some information and second parameter will be the data and the data is the one that we saw in here um, in our case if you remember i generated a file with 100 rows so we've got 100 objects at the moment with date and price but we can see that this is a string and this is a string it's not really a date on a date format and not really a price format and um, for that we can do um, uh, some manipulation let's go back to our code okay so first of all uh, we can use something that we've used before uh, something to parse our uh, date the three dot uh, time parse and in here we're gonna need the string format so in our case we're using uh, month day and a year and you probably can see that month and day are lowercase and y is um, uppercase and the reason is when I'm using Y in uppercase, it's looking for four digits um, and not two digits. And that's why I'm using it like that. And because our dates are uh, separated uh, with slashes, that's why I'm using slashes. If it was a dot, I'm going to use a dot and etc. So that's the, the format of time that we've uh, been using. And in here, um, we have, let's say it like that, we have another function that been called row. Row gonna deal the rows um, of each um, of our CSV file and it's gonna do a manipulation on each row. And we're gonna do the manipulation like that. Um, function that's gonna get d and going to return an object like that Oops, sorry like that um, that's like that maybe and the object going to be um, date and price like that and the date is going to be something that we are going to parse from d which is the date that we've got the raw and in here i'm going to call it date the reason is because in here the object contains date and price so that's why I'm using the word uh, date in here. And for price and price, uh, price will be, I'm gonna, uh, because I have the price set as dollar sign and then the number, 
I'm gonna change it to uh, I'm gonna use only the number okay that's what I want and uh, I'm gonna do it like that um, a number no sorry number like that and in here we have D dot um, how they call price price and I'm gonna trim it from blank spaces and I'm gonna slice the first character which is the dollar sign like that hope that's gonna work let's save that and let's go back to our page and refresh our page we still get the same 100 arrays but now this is a date format and this is a price without the dollar sign and that's what I was looking for so great let's go back to our code that's basically it and um, on the next uh, video I'm gonna use the, this date that we've uh, that we've set uh, to draw a line a line chart uh, from our CSV data so thanks for joining me and if you have any questions please uh, don't hesitate uh, to send the comments and um, that's basically it. don't forget to register this uh, page to get a new um, notification when new videos um, um, that I'm published that, that I've uh, published thanks again see you soon bye bye